I just made a video on what I thought about the polar bear CNC. All right, I showed off like like the build and how it's put together. Now I'm going to show you guys my version, right? So a couple upgrades. This thing has done thousands of pictures already. Like it's just a drawing bot. I wanted a bot that just draws things. I don't know why I like plotters so much, but I like them. So right now this thing just booted up. It needs to be homed and yeah, we can focus it loaded up. Then I'll talk about the upgrades and stuff while it's running. So let's go to Gerbil here. Let's see, here's Gerbil. Okay, we're already connected. We're switched back over to Gerbil instead of Marlin. So let's run a homing cycle. I guess I'll show you that. I'll hit that. And then we can wash it home. So it comes up. There's an end stop here. And then it comes over here. There's an end stop. And then it comes to about zero okay that guy comes over so you'll see it's a separate motor for a z and a separate motor for x right none of this mixed stuff and firmware is a lot easier to deal with and then when it does a homing cycle it zeroes the pen perfectly so you don't have to like shift back and forth to get it set okay so let's uh let's I guess load up a file here. I've already got a file. I'll show how to make them in uh, another video. But let's see. We're EV1 polarized. Yeah, EV1 polarized. All right. So it looks like a little bit of a mess here. But it's uh, it turns out well in the polar. Okay. Let's grab a black piece of paper because it's cooler to draw in black. And we'll chop it down a little bit here on my tiny little portable Fiskars that's goofing up. Okay. <laughs> a little too small, a little too wobbly. I think that's about the right amount. Okay. There we go. We've got this little square here. Okay. And see, typically I just set Z and I've got this purple triangle on here that I line things up to, but it doesn't have a homing axis, so I have to manually sort of center it. But once it's centered, it stays there. Okay, let's get that centered. There we go. Okay, and there we go. Oh, maybe grab it a little bit better. Okay, cool. And this thing's pretty easy to load. Uh, so right now it's it's got different pen holders. You got pens that the holders that can hold like the fine tip sharpies, the ultra fine tip sharpies. I've got some other metallic pens. But because I mean I'll show you this, I use a standard size rod or tube. I can just bend the tip to make it fit. So I give it a tap, then I lift up, and the suspension is working. I'll show you the suspension in a second, how that actually works. And because it's running Fluid NC, I can add buttons. And so I don't need to use the software to, to focus it, I guess. So every time I push up, it moves it up 3 millimeters. Every time I push down, it moves it down 3 millimeters. So what I'm going to do is move it pretty close. That's about 4 millimeters up. So 4 plus 3 is 7, 10, 13, 16. So about 16 millimeters up now, right? And I know it's centered on the X and the Y is fine because I lined it up I sort of by eye so let's uh let's play Eevee here I shouldn't need to yeah I shouldn't need to zero it because every time I hit the Z up it does the zeroing which I'll show you guys in a little bit so we did Eevee on the last one let's do Eevee on this one so it's the same speeds that it's set at this one just runs faster so I guess check it out See, I guess we hit play now. There we go. So a lot faster, a lot smoother. None of the jittering. Now you notice it doesn't have the circle next to the ear like, like the last video did. Because the pen's actually able to float over center. So it's the same base down here. Let's go to the overhead view. It's the same base, same rotary thing. But everything here up is all custom so instead of like this 3d printed mess that it had it actually has 
you know, a motor for the Z. There's the four buttons, right? And it has, ooh, uh, there we go. Let's see if we can get that under. The X motor on its own thing, right? And it's got a standard, oh, it's almost done, by the way. <laughs> Things just cruising. And you can see the suspension working, right? Every time it drops it. Right? There it goes. And let's see if we can show the back of it working. Oh, yep. There's a rubber band here. Right? The suspension piece. And all, uh, all metal bearing rails. Oh, yeah. There it is. Okay. So if you're done here, right, you've got these four buttons. Uh, so now what I can do is hit this one and it just brings it up so I can get this without accidentally rubbing it against the pen here. So kind of nice for production here. Uh, yeah, so let's pull this off and show off all the little upgrades here and compare them. Actually, let's, let's look at the computer first. So first of all, here's this one, right? And let's go over here. Uh, rotary? No, not this one. Yeah, where was all the upgrades? Let's see if we can expand this a little bit. I think I just had it open. Oh, there it is. Repolar. Nope, not repolar. Whoops, my bad. Let's see if I had it in here. I don't remember where I put it. <laughs> Make that a little smaller. Bring that in. Yeah, that doesn't have show all the upgrades. This is the whole redesign I did of it. So you can actually choose like how big or little you want it. So if you want a tiny little baby one, like a stubby, you can make one. Or if you want a big one. Okay. So yeah, we'll go over that later, I guess. I guess we'll just look at this. And then look at this guy here. Actually, we'll go, we'll go over here. Okay. I'm going to pull EV off. And let's see, it wanted me to print the top here, but I just laser cut it. I guess not everyone has access to a laser, but there's the tall bearings. They still fit. You see how much they come up, right? Extra like 12 millimeters up, but they still fit in there. Those are the prime bearings. Uh, let's see. Yeah, had to do a little bit of modification. So the motor for the rotary axis sticks out a little bit, so I had to use feet on all this. Kind of a pain, but I like the beefier motor here sticking out. Uh, let's see, I got these accurate, and I used, uh, what's it called, an actual chamfer on this, so I actually countersunk them, so they're pretty flush. Uh, let's see, end stop over here, right? End stop I guess back here, somewhere in this mess, <laughs> is the end stop. There it is. You can kind of see it buried back there. Uh, yeah, and all linear rails, and it makes it much more solid and much faster. So, yeah, and then Fluid NC. Oh, I guess we could go over that because that's some cool stuff. Let's see if we, I can actually... I don't think I have it on this computer, <laughs> but... Yeah, Fluid NC is, like, really sweet. It's just firmware for an ESP32. So let's, uh, let's rotate this around. And then, yeah, pop this camera up. So there it is. It's running. There's a ton of files on that SD card. And so you can log into it with your phone and use the buttons on top to focus it and then play the files. They're all... Uh, focus at 20 millimeters up and yeah all the end self all the button stuff not the best like wrap job with the wires but it works it's got a handle too yeah so that's my version of the polar end seat so it worked a lot better and i'll show you the next upgrade also because this is uh this thing has been great, but I wanted to make it even better and bigger, of course, right? 